So I'm a little bit late with this one, but I am proud to say that Nanatsu no Taizai, aka The Seven Deadly Sins, has been announced that it is getting an anime. What I tell you people, what I tell you people about this series, the hype is legit with it. I'm a little bit concerned about it getting an anime right now at the same time, and here's why. As of right now, the manga is what, in the 70s or so, it like has 70 something chapters out. And it's already been announced in anime, so it's making me think more than likely that means that, unfortunately, this isn't going to be one of those series that is going to be ongoing, which it's a good and a bad thing. Like, ideally, at this point, I think it's better where a series gets 25 episodes a year, and then it, it just continues. That way it has a higher budget and doesn't have to worry about it getting into fillers. But that also marks a very important thing in the fact that Anime nowadays, it seems as though we will probably never get another series that will go into the hundreds where you every week you know you're going to have your new Naruto or One Piece episode. Because if this series, which is exploding with popularity already, um, only a few volumes out over there, what, like maybe seven volumes, six volumes, and it's already sold three million copies. So it's slowly getting a huge fan base and people are really getting into it. It's actually getting pretty successful. And if this series can't garner enough, I guess, attention from the people upstairs, you know, that pretty much run things to get an ongoing series that is going to go on, you know, full on, then I don't think anything at this point is going to get that treatment because this series has that much popularity. And for the most part, I highly doubt with it being announced this early that we're going to get an ongoing series with like hundreds of episodes because there's only 70 something chapters. So more than likely, it, with it just being announced now, probably by the end of the year we'll be getting this series maybe like winter season or something like that so we're not gonna pretty much have it's safe to assume that it's not going to be one of those type of series where it's going to go the distance which is unfortunate because if any series i was looking at maybe this could be the next one that goes on with like you know episode after episode like you know how fairy tale was going on hundreds of episodes or whatever so with that in mind it's like okay yeah it's not going to be that but at the very least we can assume that it's going to be probably 24 25 any anything less than that it's bullshit like if you do 12 episodes for ties eye that is going to be an ongoing series as far as the manga goes then 12 episodes is bullshit so hopefully it's 24, 25, and maybe we get 24, 25 episodes every year. That'd be ideal. That'd be uh, pretty awesome, depending on the pacing or whatever. And just overall, it's exciting that this early, this series I've been telling y'all about, I've been reading this for a while now, uh, it's getting an anime. And it's like, oh my god, I can't wait to see who they're going to choose for Bond's voice actor. That's like, hands down, Bond is probably my favorite character of all the characters. But then you got Meliodas, you got King, oh god, Galder is like... This is going to be so fucking awesome, and I'm just hyped that we got a, an anime for this so soon, and it's like, hopefully everything goes in order, hopefully the animation is up to par, and if it is going to be just a 25 episode, hopefully they follow up, and it's not just like 25 episodes with a filler ending, hopefully 25 episodes, and then we get a season 2 the following year, and we keep on doing, and for the most part, I'm assuming I know where it's going to end, I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere around with the uh, tournament arc, uh, that's probably where it's going to end, and then they'll pick it up from after that, so that's basically my thoughts on this as a whole. It's a good thing in a sense that, holy fuck, it's already getting an anime that shows that it is successful and it's going to be around for a while. It's a bad thing in a sense that if you wanted a uh, you know, long-running series with this one, more than likely you're not going to get it because there's only 70-something chapters out and they're not going to have, you know, there's no way that they can do an ongoing without having fillers and everything with only 70-something chapters. So the good and the bad, but as a whole, it's just a great thing hearing. We got an anime for the Seven Deadly Sins, not so no ties. I I gotta do a manga video at some given point talking uh, about some of the recent stuff within the chapters because the manga has been pretty on fire as well lately. Um, well, not even lately. It's pretty much always on fire or interesting at the very least. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. You're excited? Will you be watching? I'm definitely gonna be watching. I don't know if I'll be talking about it regarding you know with with all the situation I've been dealing with as of late, but I definitely will be watching and I'm overall excited. But that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for the Seven Deadly Sins getting an anime. That was fucking quick. I'm for the world and as always, people have an awesome day.